We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm very pleased to be joined by John Davis, who is Vice President for World Ahead Program for Intel. John, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Max, it's a great pleasure to be back at Telecom World. This year's events theme is Embracing Change in a Digital World. I wanted to ask you, where do you see the biggest opportunities in that change for the industry and for society, and what do you think are the biggest challenges? Well, the biggest opportunities are just getting more people enjoying the internet by being connected to it. And it really comes in two areas. One is the affordability side. Can I afford the devices? Can I afford the broadband? Programs that we've worked with the industry and IT on for a while. And those are making enormous differences. And the second one is in education side where you have a billion children in school and not as big a computer usage as everyone would like. And that's just a massive opportunity to educate them, give them 21st century skills. Now, I wanted to also ask you, how are Intel embracing the change? Well, Intel is really focusing on areas that make a difference. We've spent a tremendous amount of marketing effort and money on the prepaid broadband, the low-cost devices to reach the lower-income people. And we've spent a tremendous amount in education. We've trained 12 million teachers. We actually build custom devices for the children. They're rugged, they're liquid-proof. Um, They've got all the fifth deterrent and networking that people want in the classroom. But the other thing we've just done in the last few days is we've acquired a content company called No. First letters like K and O, like knowledge. And what they do is they make it very easy to go from a book to a interactive hyperlink book. So you PDF it very quickly, but then it goes out to the web and looks at everything related to the subject. It indexes it, you can do assessment, and there's all sorts of tools. So if you want to take regular content and make it interactive learning content, this is one of the great ways of doing it. And we just added that to our portfolio. And you're sponsoring or you're involved with a few sessions here at uh, ITU Telecom World? Yeah, Max, we're actually sponsoring four sessions on Wednesday, tomorrow, at Telecom World. And these are really from practitioners. These are people that have done this for years. So we brought them from all around the world. And there's people that know, um, here's how I install the IT in here. Here's how we get the teachers trained. Here's how the content works. Here's the networking we want. Here's how you make these work in the rural. And put all those things together. So we actually have four sessions. One is the minister session that I'll kick off. And these are ministers that have spent a lot of time leading education. They're from all the continents. The second one will be around solutions and best practices. Countries will say how it's impacted my PISA scores or how this has really impacted the children's ability to pick up skills to be powerful in the job market. So we have those. We have um, an area on content and solutions, how the content works, um, the interactive forms of that. And then the fourth session we have is how do you pay for it? How do you afford it? And some of the tools that the IT ministers have, like the USFs and the license fees and very much that part. And it's really aimed at telecom ministers IT ministers, and I want everyone to think it's not just the education minister that drives education, it's the partnership between the education minister and the IT minister working together that makes it happen. And I have many examples around the world and we'll see some of those tomorrow. Finally, Intel have been attending ITU Telecom World for quite some time now and you, I know you attend a, a number of these events around the world. I wanted to find out what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Well, the value of ITU Telecom World to Intel and the events is the networking. There's the government people here, there's the industry leaders, there's ITU, there's people that touch everyone. You get a very powerful group of leaders together and these are the ones with the resources to make the difference, to drive the change. And if you look at the number of people here at Telecom World, if I was to get on a plane and try and meet the number of people I'll meet this week, it would take me one year of flying. They're here. And you can get groups together, you can show them practices, we can run workshops, doing both. But it's just that getting together of decision makers and sharing the best practices. And there aren't many forums that do that beautifully in the world. ITU Telecom World is one of them, it does a beautiful job. John Davis, thank you very much for being with us today. Great, thanks to be here, Max.